negative 15x plus 25y equals 65. One of the two equations in a system of linear equations is given. The system has infinitely many solutions. Which of the following could be the second equation in the system? When you have a system of equations, of linear equations, they're, say, they're saying two lines. That I have two, come here. There we go. It doesn't want to draw all of a sudden. There we go. I have two lines. Generally speaking, when they say the solution of it, it's usually a single point where those two lines cross. There are only two other options. You can have parallel lines. There are no solutions. They never cross. Or you can have lines that are on top of each other. They're the same line. So though that is when you have infinitely many solutions, when they are exactly the same line. So I have this line, negative 15x plus 25y equals a positive 65. And yes, I'm emphasizing those signs because it's going to be important in a second. Now, which of the following could be the second equation in this system? Now, if you notice, because again, they're asking us to look at these options and say, which one is the best? Which one could be the same line? Same lines are, you can achieve them by or confirm that they're the same line. If I took each of these and I multiplied them all by the same number or divided them all by the same number, I would get a line that is the same. For example, 15, 25, and 65 are all divisible by five. So I could divide all of these by five and I would get negative three X plus five Y equals 13. Those two lines are the same. If I drew them, they would draw right on top of each other because I divided each of those by five to get there. Okay, so that's one method. But we don't really have to go trying and you know seeing if all of these um, work, like 12, 20, 52. They're, they're not giving us any different numbers, so we don't have to do this test to figure out you know, if the, how the numbers should line up. We know it's gonna be 12, 20, and 52 because all four answers use 12, 20, and 52. But there is one small difference and it has to do with the signs. So look what's going on here. Here we got positive, 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 and positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative. That's the only difference. The numbers are the same, so I don't have to worry about the numbers. They've taken that part of the equation out of it. So now I just have to make sure that the signs would match. Okay, so negative 15x, so that needs to be a negative. Positive 25, that needs to be a positive positive 65, so that needs to be a positive. Negative 12x plus 20y equals 52, and that is C. There's my answer. So there's really no calculation or math required on this one because they did that for you by telling you 12, 20, 52 are the three numbers. Just check those signs. They have to be the same as the original, and that's your answer. Be sure to head over to my stores on Spreadshop and Etsy for math-related merch, worksheets, classroom decor, and more. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.